Okay, guys, so this is game number two. And what's up with the colors? Viper's now magenta? He's pink? Viper's in the pink now. He's playing as the Malay. And Tato's in the red, playing as the Koreans. My favorite. I was wondering what Nikov and MBL would choose for this. And they have Burmese and Italian. So I'll tell you exactly what Secret are going to do, okay? Secret will have Viper go for fast feudal water pressure on this pond in the center. Tato will go Tower Rush. I am, I'm certain of that because that's what they did before and it makes perfect sense. Why does it make sense? Because Malay are a solid water sieve. They get to feudal before any other civilization can. Uh, then you have Viper doing the heavy lifting as well. Tato is also a beast with Tower Rushing and you're then pressuring someone who might be going for their own water control. So it, it takes away from their focus on water, gives Viper an edge. However, here I really wonder how this will go down because Nikov will be the one going on water against Viper since he's Italians. That's a solid water sieve as well. MBL's Burmese. So will MBL just forget about the water, expect the tower rush, and go for Man at Arms and his own towers? We might have 1v1s on water and we might have 1v1s on lands going on at separate times. Then we'll see. But Nikov has been subbed in. Um, not that Hera is a bad player. We saw how good Hera can be. But I think it's good to have um, players who are good at certain maps. I think Hera's weakness is he's not very good on hybrid maps. He's just beastly on Arabia. Probably because he's played over 10,000 Arabia games. Badberry is wondering just how much food is in the center here. There's thousands. Uh, if I double click, there's 1,400 there. And then a different type of fish, which is salmon. Um, 1,600. So you have about three... 3,000 with that, and then 2,600 with deep fish, or sorry, shore fish, so more than enough food to fight over. More than enough food to change the game. Nikov is open in the north, says Vario. When you say open, do you mean this easy passageway he has to his ally, who will help him, not hurt him? Then yes, he is open. He's open to friendship. Um, Somebody asked me, I think it was Algernon, he said, what do you think of AM's setup? Who's the team captain? That's a good question. I think it's pretty clear to everyone that Viper's the captain of Secret. Um, but then again, it's not like Viper makes all the decisions for Secret. I think everyone plays their part and plays their role. For AM, I don't really think they have a real captain. I think that they're all on kind of the same page, but I don't think there's a captain there. And I think that can hurt them at times. They don't really have leadership. I think that can hurt them. I think the biggest thing that hurts Aftermath is sometimes they don't all get along. Like, there was a period in time where Hera and MBL would be in a spat every month. <laughs> like, I would cast their games. They'd play for five hours. i get home. And they're both playing separate games. And I'm like, oh, why aren't they playing each other? And apparently they got in a fight. Now, this was years ago, back when they were much younger, but... That kind of stuff happened like six months ago as well. They just sometimes don't get along. And I think that never happens with Secret. So both uh, Viper and Nikov are fighting with their scouts at the moment. And Viper just got one more hit on Nikov. So he's ahead in the fight. I doubt Viper will be tempted to run in. No, he was thinking about it. But Nikov saves his scout. So this is the power of Malay. Nikov clicked to Feudal Age before Viper did, but Viper will be there faster because he advances 80% faster to the next stage. Now, all four players have docks in the center. All four players have fish. So this is so important. And Tato's getting Loom. I expect him to go for a Tower Rush, like I said. And if MBL is expecting that Tower Rush, I'm curious to see what he'll go for. Because a lot of your resources are forward next to these Palisade Walls. This is a mix of Hideout, Arena, and... Uh, well, Pond Arena is actually a map, so maybe a mix of those two. Wait a second. Viper canceled Feudal? Well, he's in Feudal! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, he got there so fast I got real confused for a second. It's still early, it's like 9.45am for me. I didn't see the feudal ticker on the on the top right. 
It's like, wait a second, he canceled feudal? And then I clicked his TC, and he was creating bills. So I thought that he canceled feudal for a second. He's in feudal age, sorry. It's malazing how quickly these guys get to the next stage sometimes. Now everything's really close quarters in the center, so if you think we'll see a big micro battle for 10 minutes, you're mistaken. This is going to be a one and done thing. One team's going to win the center, and another team's going to lose the center, and that could change the entire game. Now Nikov, he has four fishing ships, so if he loses two, he's on par with what Viper has. Oh my god, and Tato's transporting! Now MBL has gone for a double dock, and... Wait, where's the transport going? Is it going to... Is it going to Nikov? Oh, it's going to Nikov! But the fishing ships have blocked! Oh my god! The fishing ships blocked the transport! Tato loses a villager, and MBL is walling the villagers in! And MBL's building a tower there, which tells me that these villagers could possibly die, all die for Tato. Wow. Uh, meanwhile, MBL's losing some of his fish. But that was not what I was expecting. Tato, I, I think he wanted to hit Nika because he wanted to tower the player who'd be going water. Makes a whole lot of sense. No, MBL is using his fishing ships to block Tato's villagers. Tato kills a... F no way. Tato will actually kill both the fishing ships with his vills. But he still loses his villagers. And now back to the fight. Viper is way ahead of Nikov. Hey, this is a game that Secret can still win because of the power of Malay. But Nikov's micro is looking good. And MBL is here to help if he sends his fire galley out. It's all these small things that MBL is able to do that changes the game for his team. Oh my god! And the demo from Viper! That demo from Viper was huge because it's 1v2 on water. He needs to win this. And then MBL follows up with his own demolition ship. Uh, wow. I was not expecting all of this, but I do think this hurts Secret. Now MBL can focus on water with Nikov. And Tato, uh, he has to decide on what to do next. What does he do next? Does he go forward again to tower or something? He's, he's currently on the verge of killing MBL's scout. That's something, but... Wow. Yeah, so... Um, I knew the player positions would be important. Yesterday, for those that missed it, Tato tower rushed the guy who was going water. Only in this, this uh, map generation, he was next to the guy who wouldn't be going water. He's, he's not next to the Italian player. Funny enough, Nikov actually lives in Italy now, so that makes him stronger. Pretty sure that's how that works. Like, that's why Viper's not very good with Vikings anymore, because he moved out of Norway. <laughs> I'm just... I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> He's still very good with Vikings. <laughs> but one would expect Tato to lose his fish and for Viper to lose his fish. Hmm. Yeah, Nikov's internet is much better now that he's in Italy. He's not getting going fast proxy all the time. So Viper needs to bail himself out with some demos. This is what I hate about the water meta. Because the water is pretty much lost for Secret, but there's a way to come back with a few lucky demos. Nice repairs for Viper. Oh, the demo comes in. Demo should go... Oh, that's good. It killed the fire galley and the fishing ship. Yeah, that's the end of the water control for Team Secret. And the strategy pretty much failed. But Tato is coming back forward to build the tower. And MBL sees this. Now, MBL is not on his stone, guys. Oh, he just vil rushed this. MBL does this a lot, but Tato, he has the quick fingers, the quick walls... Oh my god! Did you see that? MBL chopped the tree and palisaded it. Tato saw the palisade hop was coming. And, uh... Wait a second. Now Tato's building gates. Age of gates. This is ridiculous. Yeah, Tato gets a tower up and MBL needs to back up. He needs to back up! And he needs to stop Tato from building more towers! He's desperately placing a market so he can buy stone! Seeker could still be in this if Tata denies all of uh, MBL's golds. I don't think MBL expected him to come back forward. And beautiful quick walls from Tato. Beautiful positioning on the towers. This could be trouble for MBL. Now keep an eye on the resource count for Viper. 
and uh, for Nikov, because the Castle Age times will be important there. Won't really change the situation in the center. Nikov has made so many fire galleys. So has MBL. Now, Tato's macro has been really good. He has 700 food. So does Nikov. MBL's at 600. Viper's at 600. They might all click up to Castle Age at the same time. Nikov's on the way up now. And I guess MBL will now take this gold. Now, Tato knows the gold is there. He's now scouting the mining camp, so he needs to get over there and build more towers. And we all know Korean towers, they get the free upgrades and the free range in the next stage, so they're beastly. And they're almost impossible to kill once they're up. So maybe Tata will tower here and then place another tower here. MBL, he's having eco problems, guys, because of the lack of gold. Yep, see what Tata wants to do? He just wants to walk in with towers. Now, MBL needs gold right now. If he wants to build a counter tower, he needs to buy stone. So he almost can't. If he wants Castle Age, he can't buy anything. He has to let these towers go up. I'm really worried for AM. I think the way Tata plays Koreans, this could be perfect for Secret to come right back. Now, isn't this exciting? Isn't what Tato has done here exciting? It's, it's a great composition, isn't it? Villagers and buildings? Oh my god. Woohoo! I love Koreans. I, I do love how Tato's tracking everything MBL's doing. But MBL just gives up the gold. And, oh, okay. Well, Viper's also scouting this. A MBL's going to this gold at Nikov's base. Yeah, and Viper's saying, hey, his vills are here. Oh, and there's a weak villager as well. Viper can kill that, unless MBL is a micro nerd and walls it in. Oh wait. No way. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Tato has a scout around here as well, so just wall her in. And Nikov also bringing his scout over. It's a party of scouts. But Tato's scout will stay alive. I right, see Viper's redocked, so Viper must really want to go for water now that he's in Castle Age. Um... Tato's towers are menacing and all over MBL. MBL is on stone, though, so he could build a castle. And then maybe follow that up with Arambai. MBL's building a nice and early tower on his gold. And Tato's building a siege workshop. This is so interesting. He's also building his own tower. Weird. Well, it's not weird. The idea, obviously, is to take control of those golds. The Viper is trying to take control of water, and he has a lot of work to do here. So Nikov can't take his foot off the gas there. Um, he's making a siege workshop to help MBL out. He's on three TCs producing vills. Viper's on three TCs producing vills. Tato, he probably won't add TCs, and neither will MBL. Oh, nope, I lied. MBL's on two. Yeah, Tato is so good at judging tower range. He built this tower here because he knew it could shoot MBLs down. And now he's making a Maganel as well. So MBL will need to leave that gold in a second. There's a reason that Spring, who's an American player, was basically on the verge of tears when he found out that he was facing uh, Tato in, I think it was King of the Desert 1. <laughs> he wasn't actually on the verge of tears, but he hates towers, and then he, he also hates Tato. One time he called, he called Tato, he was joking, I hope, he said, get out of here, you spawn of Satan. <laughs> because Spring just, he freaks out when there's towers. <laughs> I love Spring. <laughs> I love Spring. I think he's hilarious. Now, Viper, and again, this is my opinion on the water meta, Viper could kill so many of these fires since they're patrolling like this with a demo. So Nikov must be careful. He's still been fishing, MBL's still been fishing, that's been great for their economy. And now another tower from Tato. Who is behind in Vils, but he's ahead in map control. That is, until MBL builds that castle. I think MBL should delete his barracks and place his castle here. Because then it kills two of these towers, it frees up his woodline and frees up his gold. That's what I would do, delete the barracks. 
Maganel Micro for Nikov and Tato here. Good work. And now Nikov needs to back up because of the Korean tower range. Viper sending a demo for- Oh my god, he can explode three demos with one! Nikov! Oh, he's lucky. Oh my god, that could have been so much worse. Well now, Nikov is using his demos. He explodes two ships. It's really not worth it. Uh, and Viper could come back on water. That's what it seems like anyway. Nikov does have 14 villagers more. Which is impressive considering he's also dealing with all of this. Like, this is the messiness that Secret bring to the table. Oh my god! MBL's not going to castle at home, guys. He's going for a ballsy move to castle at Tato's base. This is so risky, because Tato could just tower it. And Tato sees it, but there's a Maganel here! And there's a gate from MBL! What a play! What a freaking play! He could put, he could maybe stop the tower? He killed the tower. I can't. What are we seeing? This series is shaping up to be something else. Uh-oh. The castle's at 60%. What a great thought to send the Maganel, though. What a great thought to send the Maganel. He kills villagers. He's getting that castle up. He's getting that castle up, but what a huge demo that was from Nikov. He might lose villagers. But that castle, it's up. And it's right on top of Tato's face. Tato's villagers here will die. Tato will end up having a lot less villagers than MBL, so it's worth the investment. 44 villagers for Tato and 47 for MBL. Now hold on a second! At the same time, Tato was pushing in with Maganels against MBL. Nikov is on the way to Imp, so he might be able to save MBL, but this is why you build the defensive castle, right? This is crazy. Say hi, YouTube, because this is all going to YouTube. The, all the games have been awesome. I think we'll do individual games this time around. Holy crap, man. Now, MBL could get a big Maganel trade if he wants. Oh! He got one. He got another one. No way. And he almost got the third great defense he just needs to hold now because he'll be an imp and Nikov will be an imp viper isn't close viper hasn't clicked yet and i guess what does tato do or, or sorry what does Nikov do when he's an imp does he go condo tiero maybe he could just go for galleys in the center and range some of viper's eco but i think I think you have to hit Viper's land eco somehow. Pato is still losing, uh, losing bills to this. And MBL is still Maganel microing against Tato on this side. Uh... Unis, Unis Cizo says, upload it with dead air at the end. Yeah, the, here's the deal. So... The reality is YouTube is is a video, right? It's not live, and there will be some spoiling with that. I've done a ton of research. If you start uploading videos with dead air at the end at set times, like I could upload every one that's two hours. First off, it's a lot of extra work for me, but it kills your YouTube channel. Like it, YouTube stops promoting your videos, the videos stop gaining traction. It would just be a big mistake all around. So the reality is if you, if you want to see a whole set, Without spoilers, you kind of have to go to the VOD on Twitch, which is always available. But I think this one will be up in individual games, because these games have been so good. Nikov goes for immediate chemistry, and that tells me he wants to go gunpowder, so... Hand cannons? Bombard cannons against Viper? Forward ranges? Probably forward siege workshop? MBL's on this gold, nice, that's where those villagers went. MBL's making his trebuchet now that he's in the Imperial Age. MBL will need chemistry as well and bombard cannons to kill Tato's towers. Problem here is that there's a lot of towers. And also, if Tato ever gets imp, which I don't think he will in this game, uh, Korean towers outrange bombard cannons. So, good luck with that if Tato ever gets imp.
It should be Aftermath's game. But towers are military. Towers keep players in games when they're behind. That's why you can risk the investment. Yeah. Beautiful micro from both players there. That's that's good stuff. Yeah, and, and Tato and MBL trade evenly. I guess Tato will start to lose his town centers. It'll be a slow process, but he will. And Viper is beginning to be pressured now. Uh, funny enough, he's also researching chemistry. I think he will get the upgrade. I just see that the university is being attacked. Viper's sandwiched in here. He doesn't have... Oh, no, he does have some water control, actually. He made some galleys. Nikov was too focused on land. I think this is risky. I don't think you can give Viper the water again. But then again, he has so many villagers and units coming out in the front. So maybe you can give Viper water if you're going to kill him on land. Viper is kind of... He's, he's suffocated right now. How's MBL doing? Not so good. <laughs> Not so good, man. But he's making his first Bombard Cannon now. If Tata's able to kill the Bombard Cannons, somehow, keep the towers up, Secret have a chance. Crazy. Nikov has 22 military, though. Viper only has 8. Viper is thinking of going Arbalest. He's getting Thumb Ring. Now he has Crossbow. Viper's resources are not looking too hot. Now, Nikov, if he's expecting this, if he, if he sees those archery ranges, I think he should go for Elite Skirm with his gunpowder. He, he made the gunpowder uh, likely because he was expecting some Karambits from Viper. But against Arbalest, it's not so hot. Viper just needs to wait and buy his time. Of course, he won't have a real answer to the Bomber Cannons either. The Viper's castle will soon go down. He's lost two town centers. Viper will get badly housed here in a second. Uh, MBL lost his treb here. How on earth did he lose his treb? Did Viper kill it? Or what? I don't know, but he is killing Tato's towers, so it's looking better and better for Aftermath. Yeah, oh, that's the range that's researching Arbalest, but it will- the upgrade will complete. Oh my god, Nikov! Not like this! Don't lose your Bombard Cannons, Nikov. He lost one to the Castle Fire. He'll lose the next one to an Arbalest. Or the Arbalest. And Nikov has Kondo Tieros and Hand Cannons only. They're not great counters. They're not great against Arbs. The Bombard Cannon dies. He needs Skirms, and now he's teching into that right now. But Viper will have a, a, a small window of opportunity to push back out. Start killing all of this. I think Nikov should just fall back to his castle, in all honesty. Oh, Viper has his Bomber Cannon here. I was waiting for Viper to build the Siege Workshop with these Vills. That's how the Treb died. <clears throat> so Viper's helping on both sides. This has got to be complicated stuff for him. Slowly but surely, MBL is getting his map back from Tato, who still does not have the resources to click Imp. Might never have the resources to click Imp at this rate. And Viper's made his own Bombard Cannon. Hey, he's attempting to kill the Treb, which he should be able to do with proper micro. Now, Nikov is getting coinage. One thing about this tournament I've yet to bring up today is that you cannot sling until you're in the Imperial Age and then get coinage. So sling means send ally resources. Nikov will send resources to MBL. I'm not sure what, but he'll send something. And, man, these towers are taking so long. I, I figured he might send MBL stone, and MBL now has some stone to work with. The population between MBL and Tata is very similar, and the population between Viper and Nikov also very similar. But the military population is higher for MBL. And Tata only has towers, and he's losing them. Crazy micro on the hill, though, for Nikov. This is good, and he's still forcing repairs out of Viper's Castle. Just needs to keep his resources high. Look at Nikov's resources. My goodness. Whereas Viper is at the limit. So MBL has lost his castle, uh, but he's killing Tato's towers, and he probably could go elephants if Nikov sends him some food. 
could continue with Condo Tieros. He's expanding his eco. Not looking great for Viper. Not looking great for Tato. How good has Nikov been in this game, by the way, guys? This is why Nikov came in for the hybrid maps. He's been so good. He helped MBL with the Tower Rush and Castle Age while out booming Viper. He beat Viper on water. He's microing well right now. Now, as I say that, he'll lose his bomber cannon, of course. Always got to jinx somebody. He's sticking to this hill, which has got to be annoying for Viper. And Nikov might just commit to the fight right now. Now, oh, never mind. The Condo Tieros aren't fully upgraded. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking what Gazelius is thinking in the chat. MBL would have struggled if it wasn't for the help and communication with Nikov. Here comes MBL, and Tato is just making towers. <laughs> making towers. He's also getting forging. Oh, he's making knights. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of Korean knights. Holy crap. Oh, that won't work. Korean knights are pretty bad. Okay, I hear Nikov's farm's expiring, and it's really bothering me, so I hope he fixes that. <laughs> Um, he's also, he's losing grounds on the front for his Viper. And Viper will kill the Trep. Good work. You know what Viper really needs right now? I think he needs some Karambit Warriors, but he doesn't have a castle to do so. Karambits would be beastly here. At the Bombard Cannon Arbalest Skirm combo is doing just fine. Wow, Nika, back up, my friend. Viper has a 15 population lead over him. How is this happening? Nika, back up. MBL needs to push. MBL needs to push, but Tato's just, just pumping out night after night, building tower after tower. The idea here is that Kondo Tierras are 80 HP, the Knights have 100 HP. Nikov is now researching Cavalier, but he's losing ground, and Secret take the population lead. Unreal. Tato is also booming up everywhere. Look at that bill count. He's still building towers over here. He has 121 bills, and the Korean Knights are doing okay versus these Kondo Tieros. I really feel like MBL should have been doing more over here. Like it's been 50-50 between Viper and Nikov. But Tato's not even an imp yet. MBL should maybe make pikemen with his condo tieros. Might be underestimating the strength of the knight. Also, he, he might not realize how much Tato has expanded things. What a performance from every player. This shows just how good the Age of Empires 2 competitive scene is right now. Everyone has had a, like a span of 10 to 15 minutes in this game where they've been beastly. For Nikov and Viper, it's been most of the game. MBL, he had some highlights earlier, killing Tato, made Tato look bad. Tato came back with more aggressive towers. Then Tato got Castle Drop. And Ka uh, Tato's still in it in Castle Age with Korean knights and crossbows. Unreal. Yeah, Kondo Tieros are just not very good, in my opinion. They're, they're not good against archers. They're not good against knights. They're only good against gunpowder. When they were nerfed last year, they became a tough unit to go for, but I'll tell you what's a good unit to go for is Cavalier. And Nikov has had resources for a while, it's just been... He hasn't been able to push Viper and kill Viper off. Now Viper's Galleons are doing an awful lot to disrupt the Lumberjacks. Also, Tato could maybe... Maybe tower this woodline? And suffocate Nikov a little bit? Wow. Every time I look over here, the Bombard Cannons are microing. This is a sick game. This is truly a sick game. How, how are we... How is it still going? Koreans. <laughs> it's hard to kill Koreans. Look, there's towers everywhere. Tato will build tower after tower after tower. He's even using Light Cav on this side to make sure that players don't expand to the extra resources. But Nikov goes in against Viper! Nikov goes in against Viper! MBL arrives with his own condo Tieros! And all of a sudden, Viper's military count plummets! 20 military for Viper, it is 47 for MBL, and it is 60 for Nikov. Is this it? 
Is this it? Sure, Tato's staying alive, but if Viper dies, there's no chance. Unreal. I mean, Tato is somehow on the way to the Imperial Age. And just the free tower upgrades will be strong. But Viper has lost everything. From 200 pop to 118 pop in a minute. Nikov just needed some higher value units. He was making skirms and condos. He needed skirms and cavalier. Cavalier is so much stronger. And Viper has just built this castle. This castle? Sorry. He built this castle to secure his base a little bit. That castle will probably go down. Tato is raiding with Lycav. I really love how he's playing this out here. Oh my goodness, but MBL realizes that MBL will kill that TC. Kill Tato's villagers. MBL's also pushing back on this side. I've said this before, but it seems like Aftermath have it now. It was a great comeback from Secret. And then a great response from Aftermath. The populations are just too high. The resources are just too high for Aftermath to lose this game. I don't I don't think it's possible for them to lose. Viper's pop is too low. He'll lose his castle. And the GG is called. What a back and forth amazing game on Forest Pond. My goodness. Man, every age. Every age had something. I mean, Dark Age is just Dark Age. Sorry to anyone out there who's still watching in the Dark Age. Don't mean to offend you by that comment, but the transport idea from Tato? He tried to tower rush Nikov because Nikov was the one to threaten Viper on water. And Nikov blocked with fishing ships, killed the transport. Tato hopped out of the transport because he knew it would die. <laughs> then MVL walled him in and towered him. And when Tato tried to run, used his fishing ships to block the Vils. I mean, that moment was more than enough of a highlight, and then the rest of the game was sick. Atato came back in with towers, MBL had the epic castle drop, which did give him problems at home as Tato towered more. Um, and then Viper held on for the longest time against Nikov with the Arbalest switch, that was great. He was even pushing back for a while there. And uh, Tato was staying alive in Castle Age against Imperial Age Burmese Kondo Tieros. I guess... 9 plus 7 attack wasn't enough. <laughs> I think at the time it was 9 plus 5 attack, but my goodness. Nikov played really well. He played his role to perfection. If Nikov lost Water vs. Viper, yeah, there's just no way. But then again, it was Nikov and MBL on Water vs. just Viper. Can't really sum that game up, guys. It was brilliant. But that means the score in this best of 7 is now 2-0. Um... I'll bring up the achievements, but they'll play the next game soon. Here we go. What is this going to look like? I wonder how many buildings Tato lost. 54 buildings, probably 50 towers. Uh, 302 kills for Viper wasn't enough. Nikov had so much gold collected, 16,000 gold collected in this game. 78 largest army, he was a beast. Everyone was beastly though, everyone played good. Like, Tato's recovery after losing the four villagers in early feudal was great. And his reboom after getting castle dropped was insane. Really shows you just how good both teams are. Um, however, throughout all the games today, it's Secret who's falling behind. Now, sometimes versus other teams, they'll fall behind and they can't come back. Or it's not. Uh, or say, sorry, they can come back. Time they were flies. unable to do so in the previous game. Um, the next game is a non-water map. It will be on hideout. And surprise, surprise, Hera comes in because there's no water. <laughs> so it will be MBL and Hera. MBL is the constant.